Right, hey guys. So after several requests online for a video showing how to change a bladder, um, I have finally got around to doing it and I'm going to show you how to diagnose a leak and change a bladder and one of your struts on the new dice. First you've got to work out which area of the kite has a leak. If you haven't seen where it's been punctured, then you will need to know whether it's the main bladder or one of the tip struts that is losing air. To do this, you pump up the kite, you close all of the strut valves that uh, pinch off the one pump system. Then you proceed to leave the kite for a few hours or as long as it takes for the offending area to go down. When you return to it, you'll be able to see which area is flat, uh, which bladder has the puncture, whether it's the struts or the main leading edge. On this video, I'm going to show you how to change the smallest strut on the dice, um, but the technique is the same regardless of the bladder. The leading edge is a slightly bigger job, but I'll get around to doing that video another time. Firstly, deflate the kite entirely and make sure it's uh, lying in a nice place in order to do the bladder repair. Then you want to take off the clips that hold the one pump tubes in place to the offending bladder. A useful tip is to get a piece of wood or a chopping board and have that handy when you do this so that you don't poke the screwdriver so that you don't poke the screwdriver through the canopy of the kite. This is just a tip, you don't need to do this, but it's something that will help you. And then pull off the rubber one pump connector from the bladder valve. Once you've done that, turn to the back of the strut material and you will see a little white string that's sticking out from uh, the very end of the uh, bladder. This little white string is actually attached to the bladder itself and allows you to pull it back into the correct position once you've taken it out. But to start it, untie this bit of string and then get one of the lines from your bar or a spare bit of line that you have lying around and tie it to this bit of string before you proceed on taking the bladder out. This is very important that you do this, otherwise you won't be able to get the bladder back into the strut. Once you've done that, make sure you've untied the end of the bladder right down at the tip of the strut. Pop in the bladder valve, make sure it's inside the cut, make sure it's inside the strut all the way so that the bladder pulls out freely when you pull it from the end. Then proceed to pull it all the way through, making sure that the string is still attached. Once the bladder is then out, you want to lie it down on a clean surface, ready for inspection. In order to find out where it's leaking, you obviously need to inflate the bladder itself. There are many little ways you can do this. For this video, I am going to use the spare rubber connector that will be inside your North Dice bag or any of the other North Kite bags. You will have a set of spares. Use this spare rubber connector, connect it to the valve on the bladder, and then use the pump to inflate it. If you don't take the pump out of this, it will keep the bladder inflated whilst you check the bladder for holes. The best way to find the hole quickly is to get a tub of water like so and then just like a bike tire feed the bladder through the tub of water until you find the offending area. Once you've found the hole take it out, clean it off and then look for the repair patches that will also be inside your North Kiteboarding bag. Stick on the repair patch Follow the instructions in the repair box. It's pretty easy, you just stick it straight onto the bladder itself. Once you've done that, make sure that the bladder is dried off. You can either leave it in the sun or give it a quick wipe down. And then a top tip from me, which is really important if you're, using, if you're doing the main bladder of the kite, is to use some talcum powder. This may seem a little bit messy, when, when the bladder actually goes back inside the kite, this will help the bladder to actually move and shift and reduce any twisting that the bladder has when you reinsert it. So talcum powder, top tip. Once you've talked up your bladder, lie it out in the correct way that it needs to be reinserted. If it's the main bladder, roll it up so that the, um, so it doesn't gain any twists. 
it's easier when it's the smaller strut because it doesn't twist up as easy and you can see it and control it a little more. Once you've done that, feed the end in, make sure that the string is tight and that everything's in the right position. And then feed the strut valve up into the bottom end of the strut itself. And then take care when pulling the strut all the way back up through until you can see the white bit of string that you originally tied the line to coming out the hole in the bottom of the strut. That's how you know that the bladder is in the right place. Once it's in the right place, put your finger into the valve hole and find the bladder valve. Once you've found it, make sure there's no bits of bladder in the way and bring it back up through the hole in the strut. Make sure it is in place correctly. Once it's in place and the bladder's in, give the whole strut a little rub to make sure everything's in the right place and all that talcum powder is doing its job. Then give the strut a little bit of pressure from the pump just to make sure you can't see any visual twists and that it's all in the right place. Once you know it's in the right place, you can proceed to reclose the end of the strut and seal the Velcro that stops the bladder popping back out into the correct position. Once you've done that, then go ahead and reconnect the one pump tube and clip on the plastic clips to stop the one pump tube coming off when you're riding. And there you have it. That is how you quickly and easily repair a bladder on one of your North Kites.